Hey, it's Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through an optimization problem in Excel that uh, we want to try using the data solver. It's a very simple problem, but I think it'll get the concept across. Um, we're going to open up a basic Excel spreadsheet, and we're going to uh, work on a um, problem that involves like a street vendor, vendor selling ice cream. And there are some constraints with this, which we need to put the constraints into data solver. And the owner wants to see, you know, at uh, what temperatures, outside temperatures and all, he can maximize his ice cream cone um, vending business. So the owner only works when the temperature is above 40 degrees Fahrenheit, of course. The owner suspects that the two major factors in determining how many ice cream cones that he will sell in one day are the outside temperature and the relative humidity. The temperature is me measured in whole degrees Fahrenheit. Relative humidity is a number ranging from 0 to 100. That indicates how much moisture is in the atmosphere. So he has some constraints he's observed over time. As the temperature increases, the sales of ice cream cones tend to increase, as you would think. As the temperature approaches 100 degrees, however, fewer people tend to be out on the street, and therefore they tend to buy less ice cream. And if the relative humidity is too low, People tend to be more comfortable when outside, and therefore, they're not interested in eating ice cream. And if the relative humidity is too high, fewer people tend to be out uh, on the street and therefore buy less ice cream. So quite a few constraints there for such a small problem. But let's go ahead and create the problem. And we'll just put a little company name of Ice Cream, ice cream King there. And this is the Ice Cream King Cone, I should say sales study and we're going to just put in temperature and relative humidity I'm going to abbreviate that and then ice cream cones that's what we're really after here is how many ice cream cones uh, optimally can we sell based on the, the uh, current conditions between temperature and relative humidity and so let me just stretch this out a little bit more yeah, somewhere in there I think we'll get by and um, in cell C5 we are going to plug a rather large formula in there to make it a little easier for you to get started on this and you can probably uh, work out most of what why this formula is the way it is with the different degrees that we've mentioned along the way. Let me just double check that and make sure that's the formula that I want to use that's given in the problem. Okay, that looks right, so we'll lock that in. And we're going to get a negative decimal number. I am going to change that to um, a whole number format. Not rounding it, but just making it formatted instead. And let me just go up here and change that to number and zero decimal places, basically. Okay, so that's in place. Like I said, that's not a round function in there. It's just formatted to look like a whole number. Now we want to use the data solver in Excel that's on everybody's Excel to determine the ideal temperature and relative humidity to maximize the daily sales of ice cream cones because that's the whole deal with optimization. You want to maximize something. So we've got to define all the necessary parameters because we've named them already with the, you know, what temperature people, what temperature range people like to buy ice cream at and what relative humidity people like to buy ice cream um, at. So let's work on this. Um, we're going to click on the data ribbon. You may or may not have this activated already on your Excel. So let me show you how to do it if you don't have it already. And you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Options, and you're going to go to Add-ins, right there on the left, and then at the very bottom you see Manage, and it says Excel Add-ins. And when you see that, you just say Go, 
and it asks you, you know, you want the analysis tool pack or the euro currency tools or whatever. And this time we want solver add in. So you just got to check mark that and then say OK. And that'll take care of that. Now you have it in place on your ribbon. You just got to find it. So you got to go to the data tab and then you want to go to solver. Solver should now show up on the far right. So when I bring up solver, it brings up this nice uh, dialog box that says solver parameters on it. Now, um, you may have not gotten this from out of the problem. You have to kind of know how to read sentences and know that's what they're talking about. But it says set the following parameters. In this problem, you want to maximize the number of cones, which that will have eventually in cell C5. So that's our set. When we say set objective, okay, C5 is what we want to optimize there. And uh, so it will tell us the number of cones that we've been able to um, to um, sell during this optimal time. And um, so we have to set some parameters though. So we're going to adjust the temperature and humidity cells. Those are cells found in cells C3 and in C4. So um, those are the, the numbers that are going to change as needed to make the number of ice cream cones sold maximize or optimize. So the constraints are based upon information that's already been provided in the problem. You just got to be able to take those sentences and put them into the language that Excel will understand. And it's not terribly difficult language. Uh, you can just kind of, if you read it and break it down a couple of times, you'll start to see the pattern developing. So it says the outside temperature must be a whole number greater than or equal to 40 degrees. And actually there's two things we got to do to that one. The first part is is to make, um, to set C3 uh, to only accept integer values. And I'm going to do that in this area. I'm going to add constraints as we go here. I do need to put this value in though, but I, I mentioned it earlier by changing variable cells. What are we changing? Well, we want to change cells C3 and C4 um, to um, achieve our optimization. So that's the ones we want it to change and tell us what it's going to take to maximize. So that is C3 and C4, but we have to make them absolute. So um, dollar sign C, um, dollar sign 3, and dollar sign C to um, dollar sign 4, and that will be sufficient for that part. So these are the two cells we're telling it we want it to change and make it to whatever it takes to make it maximize. Okay. Now, um, we talked about the outside temperature needs to be a whole number greater than or equal to 40 degrees. And I said that breaks up into two different constraints. Um, the first part is that C3 is only to accept integer values. So we have to say add and we only want C3, so you can type C3 in there, or you can just, you know, go up here and click C3. And we only want it to be an integer, so there's INT, and the integer automatically pops up under the constraint part. And then you say add, okay, and that took it. So the second part of this constraint is that C3 must be greater than or equal to 40, and, you know, we're talking degrees in Fahrenheit, so um, we'll say again, go back and make C3 also has to be greater than or equal to, so let's find that particular one. Now slow down on this and make sure you're picking the correct one, greater than or equal to, and we'll pop in 40 and add that constraint. Okay. Now, um, and then we'll go through and enter the uh, remaining constraints. And so we have the first two in, but now the next one, uh, C4, we're going to focus on that. So C4, um, that temperature we said, you know, less than or equal to 100. So this time I'll say less than or equal to, and I'll plug in 100 and say add that constraint. And then also C4 needs to be an integer. So again, C4, integer. I NT here and then integer pops up automatically there. So add that one. Uh, also C4 needs to be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so C4 greater than or equal to zero. 
So those constraints are found when you read the problem. Let me add that one. And then I'll say OK. Oh, maybe missing something there. Um, and let me pull solver up again. I'll just say cancel. And you can see what you've got in so far and see if you have anything else you need to add or change. So looking at this, C5, absolute C5 is there to max. Yes, by changing variable cells C3 and C4. Got that. Subject to the following constraints, C3 should be equal to an integer. C3 is greater than or equal to 40. C4 is less than or equal to 100. C4 is equal to an integer. C4 is greater than or equal to 0. Now, the other thing that's important, and that is to uncheck this make unconstrained variables non-negative. Make uncheck that, and it will work. And this part here, select a solving method. We're going to keep it on GRG nonlinear. And when you think you've got all that properly placed in there, then you can hit the solve button down here. And a little screen will pop up. It says solver found a solution. Well, that's always good. And all constraints and optimality um, conditions are satisfied. And you just say OK. And it will show you what it found to be most optimal. Uh, temperature of 95 degrees, relative humidity at 70. and it means we could uh, potentially sell 111 ice cream cones, which is what you want to see. All right, so I hope that um, helps you deal with the uh, ice cream king problem. Thanks for your time.